It really is a tale of two cities down here at Young Dundas Square. Over here, you'll see, this is the public health office where people, they call it a safe injection site. People go there uh, to inject their illegal drugs and they also get their needles and they dispose them there. But it's also uh, very tricky because it's dangerous and Jack Bullen, who was shooting this video, he was here when the murder happened. There was a stabbing here and a 40-year-old man was murdered. Now, they don't have a suspect yet in that case. Despite this being the most public area in the country, they haven't put out a picture. They're working on the case, which means that everybody here is a potential danger. There's somebody armed and dangerous that has killed somebody. Of course, it's already dangerous because you can tell from talking to the people and watching the people that they're really struggling with addictions. A lot of them don't even know where they are. It's almost like a zombie land in some ways. And yet on this side, you've got the biggest tourist area. Now over at City Hall, a candidate for Mayor Anthony Fury has promised to do something that he thinks will help in this regard. It's clear to me that the main solution to the law and order issues in the city we're dealing with right now is more police officers and a greater visible presence of officers in our communities, on our streets, and on public transit. Which is why I, Anthony Fury, am announcing that if I become mayor of Toronto, I will immediately bring on 500 more uniformed police officers. Of course, hiring 500 police officers is a good thing, but that's not going to solve these problems. And at this news conference, along with Anthony Fury, was former Toronto police officer and crime specialist that we see in the media, Ross McLean. And we asked him what he thinks should happen here, and he gave his opinion on that. It's going to take a cooperative effort. But taking those 500 officers, it'll be up to the chief here, who's going to be whoever the chief is going to be, how they deploy them, but to deploy 500 into a squad to go around cleaning up the recidivist crime, the high crime areas where it's taking part in the street here, where people know that they're going to have a problem with the police and they're going to get dealt with, will help. I just talked to a couple of officers here. They said they feel like they make no difference. They come out every day, they work hard, they care, they're trying to do the best, and it's the exact same or worse when they're out the next day. And Anthony Fury, in addition to the 500 police officers, has also announced another initiative dealing with this very problem right over here. I announced several weeks ago that as mayor I will be phasing out the drug injection sites that are fueling so much of the chaos we see in our downtown and all throughout the city, replacing them with treatment centers. Uh, persons uh, involved in the drug crisis, they are responsible for the majority of the random attacks that we're seeing on our transit and on our streets. So we're going to deal with that issue that way and to have better response times, to, to feel that the city is a place where we can invest in again, businesses can grow, families can live. We need a greater visible police presence. There's nothing normal or acceptable about innocent people being murdered in public spaces or anywhere. We've had far too much of it. We've had a 16-year-old murdered in the subway. We've had older people that have been knocked down and murdered. I've covered a lot of it and I'm sick of it. It's time for action. It's time to do something. And it's time to do it now before anyone's killed. Anyone else is killed because people are being killed all the time. You just never know when someone's going to come along and do that. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Joe Warmington.